Well, happy days, everyone, as I get to finally come clean and explain why I have not been listening to Kanye and why I am not going to listen to Kanye in the near future, uh, especially with new albums on the horizon. So before I get into why, I want to explain to everybody who's here, this is not coming from a position of like moral high ground or or judging people or saying that if you listen to Kanye, you support anything awful he said or done. I, I, I totally disagree with those ideas. I think they're ridiculous. Um, I'm not trying to cancel Kanye. He can cancel himself better than anyone anyway. <laughs> I'm not saying we have to boycott him. No, no. This is strictly a position of complete lack of interest on my part on wanting to hear what he has to say artistically. Um, if you listen to Kanye, if you love Kanye, listen to Kanye, okay? I'm not judging anybody. You get to listen to what you enjoy. I get to listen to what I enjoy. It really is that simple. So there's no judgment coming from this. The why. And you're probably thinking, oh, I know why. Well, that's part of it. But it actually all happened before the we all know why part. <clears throat> if you'll remember before the we all know part, there was a festival rolling loud. I think it was Miami, I believe. And he was going to headline. And a couple weeks before the show, he said, I I'm not going. I'm not going to perform. I'm pulling out of the festival, blah, blah, blah. I don't really know the details. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter. It's his decision if he wants to pull out. Hopefully it was a valid reason. It either way, it's irrelevant. That sucks. You know, fans were excited to see him, so on. Of course, the venue, being the uh, money extracting machine that it is, was like, well, we're not issuing a refund. <laughs> no, we don't do that. So they decided, oh, we'll get somebody else to fill the spot. And honestly, in my opinion, the idea of getting Kid Cudi to fill the Kanye spot, not to say that he's an equivalent in terms of music creation, but I think you take the Venn diagram overlap of Kanye fans and Cudi fans, not a bad choice in my opinion. So they get Kid Cudi. Kanye and Cudi start beefing. I don't care why. I don't want to know why. Completely relevant to me again, still. And then the night of the show, the night of the show that Kanye said he was pulling out of, he's not going to perform. The venue, the time, he shows up on a different stage to perform just to spite Kid Cudi. And the moment he did that, in my opinion, he said a giant fuck you to every single fan who bought a ticket to see him perform. And the moment that happened, I, in my mind, I was like, well, I will never buy a ticket to his show. There's no way. Like, I can't, clearly I can't trust the guy. In my opinion, that's the, one of the, like, hugest forms of disrespect you can show towards your fans. And so I'm not even going to put myself in that position of, of being at risk. And then... All the other shit happened, right? I'm gonna go Death Con 5 on the Jews, and he goes on Alex Jones talking about how much he loves it. Like, like, the rest of it, we all know very well, right? And so that's why I've not listened to any Kanye in terms of reaction videos. I haven't listened to any Kanye. Like, I just stopped because I've lost 100% interest in anything he has to do. Um, and some of you might think, Bob, that's crazy. Like, Kanye's made amazing music. You loved his music. You loved his... And this is true. But you also have to remember, I think people kind of forget, going through Kanye's discography, you know, that all happened within the span of a year or so when I started, what I did, Dropout, and then Yeezus, and then, then I started going in order again. All that happened within the span of probably 10 months or so. So for those of you who are huge Kanye fans, you love Kanye, his music is such a massive part of like your own life experiences. You gotta remember, I haven't had that. He is among many, several artists who I have come to learn and know about in the last couple of years. And so not listening to Kanye, to me isn't that big of a deal because he was never a huge part of my musical catalog to begin with. Um, now, you want to flip it around on me and you say, okay, what if, if it was Tool doing this? Are you going to never listen to Tool again? That's harder. So I feel the pain. I feel the struggle that Kanye fans are probably going through. Um, it's not easy. That's why I'm trying to make this just as straightforward as possible. I'm not trying to shit on Kanye. 
I'm not trying to do anything negative. I'm simply trying to be transparent for you guys so you know what to expect from me going forward. Just trying to be fair. That's it. I hope it comes across that way. Uh, and that's kind of it, really. Yeah, if this disappoints you, I, I apologize. You know, you don't have to like this. You don't have to, you can you can dislike and unsubscribe, right? Like the opposite of what everyone always says. It's just, it is what it is, man. And if I went into a new album from him or even Jesus is King, there, I know how my brain works. And I know I will be 100% closed-minded. I will nitpick. I will scrutinize. I will just tear it apart because I've lost all respect for the guy. That's really all there is to it. Sorry, my apologies if this uh, you know leaves you distraught, but there you go. That's the truth. There's the plans going forward, and uh, yeah. I have to record this because I'm sitting here looking at myself, getting ready to start, and I look like a, a uh, much nicer version of Dr. Evil, you know? You could call me like, I don't know, intern frumpy pants or something instead of Dr. Evil. A kitty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>